This study was a study uh, doing molecular profiling in a multimodal approach using uh, sequencing, immunohistochemistry, and in situ hybridization to look at uh, various parameters and see how they change between primary tumors and brain metastases. So as we get better and better with time at treating primary cancers, there's higher, higher risk of developing brain metastases as people live longer. And what we sought to answer with this study was, does that profile of mutations in a tumor change with time um, and is different in brain metastases than patients' original tumors? What we found so far in this study is, is that for the most part profiles were fairly maintained, but there were a couple important differences um, between brain metastases and the primary tumors. So this study looked at non-small cell lung cancer, breast cancer, and melanoma. And one thing that we found was that things involved in DNA replication, enzymes called topoisomerase, especially topoisomerase 1 and topoisomerase 2A, uh, had a higher incidence of expression in brain metastasis. And we have drugs that treat those and that cross the blood-brain barrier um, and can target those brain metastases. So drugs like arena TCAN or atoposide um, that could be potential treatments in brain mets um, given that they express those things more than other tumors. We also found that things such as uh, EGFR amplification is higher in tumors, especially uh, breast cancer brain mets. And there are drugs that target both HER2, which was also expressed more in brain mets, as well as EGFR, drugs like lapatinib, that can, again, cross the blood-brain barrier and treat, uh, potentially treat brain metastases. And I think the conclusions from this study show us that those, in a general population sense, which of those drugs are, can be efficient in getting through the blood-brain barrier and targeting the different mutations and the different alterations that we see in brain metastases as opposed to the primary tumors.